So Koopa had the best idea to let three strangers in. We took the weapons and locked them up in the security room. Me and Vince are going to interview them. They're dangerous. We're kicking them out to the Z's. Understand? Jeff, since Cooper didn't follow orders, you'll be our new watchman. Wendy, you and Rochelle will go count the food. I know we should still have a year's worth, but I just want to make sure. Star, you'll take Jeff's place at 12 a.m. Alright, that's it for now. Everyone can go. Except for you, Cooper. Get over here right now. What the hell were you thinking? Bringing strangers into this place? Do you know what happened last time we did that? Sorry, Rex, but we can't keep shutting people out. Newcomers? Hmm. This should get interesting. Or possibly dangerous. Either way, at least something new is going on in this dump. If you're trying to make it There's no way that you make it And maybe you can fake it But you're never gonna make it are you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back Don't tell me you believe that Are you just gonna take that? Or will you fucking fight back? Wow, it's been a while since we've seen new faces. Am I right, Star? Yeah, it has been so long. Maybe they can join us? Star, I know you have faith in people, and that's what I like about you. But you need to live in their real world. Those three guys could be dangerous. We can't trust anyone out there anymore. I'm sorry to be the bad guy. But someone has to. Thanks, Joseph, for waking me up to the real world. Wait, we're in the middle, Joseph. What is this, a courtroom? So what the hell are we even doing in here? We've done nothing to you. Oh, one of your guys helped us in here. Thought we could be good friends. Drink some friggin' hot cocoa and- Thomas, be quiet. What's up, old man? Stare much? Man. I am really hungry. How long is this interview gonna take? Hey, two of you cut it out now. Fine. I'll be quiet and starve to death over here. Look, we're friendly people. I mean, look at this face. Doesn't this face look friendly? <laughs> look, you three stop making jokes and start talking or I'll make you talk. Okay, I'll shut up. My name's Wint Hoffman. Used to be a detective before all this. I was getting my wife a dress. Then all this happened. I hit the soldiers, took people and killed them. Luckily, they didn't do much damage to them all. I tried to call my wife. I got a hold of her for a second, but it wasn't long until I heard the door get knocked down and her screaming. And that's why I helped Rex turn this place into a sanctuary. We thought we can trust other survivors, but there's some bad apples out there and we couldn't take any more chances. You are the only survivors we let in for years now. I told you my story. Now you tell me yours. Damn. <sighs> My name's Jacob Harris. The one in the purple shirt is named Pierce. And the one with the scar is my cousin Thomas. I was about to get married before all this. My wife, her family, my family, they, they were all there. And these soldiers, I don't know why, but they just shot everyone. They killed my wife. Soldiers, you say? Did they have the FDT on them? I don't know. Maybe. It happened so fast. You know, some part of me is relieved that my parents were alive to see that horror. These two are the only families I have left. So please, don't kick us out. For what it's worth, I'm sorry what you lost. I'm gonna take some time to think. You three just sit here tight. Well, let's hope they let us in. Ah, oh, damn it, what do I do? So, Rex, what did they say? That they've been through hell like us. Honestly, Hunter, I don't know what to do. My suggestion is we lock them up for a couple of days so they can prove themselves to stay here. 
That might be an actual good idea, Hunter. All right. I'm glad you agree. Maybe this is a sign that we should try to make a contract with other survivors, but I would have jumped straight ahead into it. I'm just saying. Yeah. Listen, I'm sorry to do this, but you're going to have to be their babysitter. Uh, bring them out for dinner. All right. Hello, Bucky. Where are you heading off to? Uh, hey, hey, Elish. Uh, this, this isn't what it looks like. <laughs> Why so clown chum? You should have never betrayed us, Bucky. <laughs> please, please don't. Now, sorry, Buck. You broke the rules. You try to steal from us. Try to steal from your family. <laughs> now that is fucked up. Have mercy. Oh, whoa, what the hell did he do? Welcome back, Scout. I am here. He fucked up. Anyways, tell me, what'd you find? Alright. Lewisburg, it's just a few miles east. Willenburg's small. Tell me more. But there's the right people there. People? Hmm. Well, how about we go introduce ourselves? They are gonna be so happy to meet the Blood Moon. I'm rolling and blowing, I'm coasting, I got them all trolling me right I just keep growing and showing them, knowing I'm moaning this fall, you can catch me outside Gonna get them all